Here we have some Danners. Testing, testing, testing. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you along with me as I unbox my Danners. They did write my address on here, so I had a bit of piece of tape, which kind of sucks. But these are U.S. U.S. Marine Corps Red Hot Men's Wide. 12 non gore tex So these are the hot rat boots, baby. Good old rat boots. Brand new pair. Unopened. Let's go ahead and sliggity slice this thing up and see what we got. Looking like a good pair of boots made in America, son. Made in America since 1932. These are union made, made in the USA. Don't give a fuck about the unions, to be honest with you. It's about the USA that I care about. Fuck a union. Let's see what we got here. Well, that's nice. I just want you guys to know. Pick these up on discount for. Uh, $81. Well, $80 and 67 cents. Let's just be precise. I got a 20% off coupon for Coleman's. Decided, uh, might as well just snag me another pair of boots. Let's get this lid out of the way here. Alright. Kind of hard to fit this on the camera. Lovely. Unlaced. Ready to go. Look at these. We turn on a bit more light here. These are absolutely lovely. Brand new, non steel toe. Don't really like the steel toe. Woo! Suede leather, baby. Ain't nothing better. Uh, a lot of you military guys probably like, eh, I don't know if you think it's I don't like that defense. Get some oak wings. These are too heavy. These are really pretty lightweight boots. Let's be honest. They're, they're really not that heavy. For a Vibram sole, freaking giant foam cushioning with a real leather last, a little stitch down construction, reconstructable, made in America, suede leather. You really can't, you really can't beat this boot, to be honest with you. Let's be honest. I got the Marine logo stamped into them. Not my favorite part of the boot, but now with these, this is pretty similar to uh, the Vibram Montagna or whatever the sole is called. It's just a specific lug patterns for our military. I don't think they sell these soles separately. I think these are just a Danner Vibram specific sole. But very nice, very thick. You can see uh, about, uh, about 3 eighths of an inch of a lug. Very nice heel lift. There is a nice shank in there. You can't deform the shank at all. It's beautiful. Really, quite a nice boot. Got some, uh, those are not speed hooks. I thought these were speed hooks. Maybe I converted them on my old boots. I'm not sure. Very comfortable looking boot. Here's our steel of approval here. These are inner rats. Hard to focus here. Twelves. Wides, because I got them big old feet, baby. Let's get this other one popped over here. See what we got. Sorry, I'm crumpling that paper right on the microphone. I'm sure that sounds lovely. Sorry about that, y'all. Other boot looks just as good. Suede's like untouched. 
Very, very nice. Very nice. Just a nice pair of boots for eighty dollars. You're talking now. Nowadays, these boots, what they've done is they've taken the heel, I mean the the toe counter and protection, and they've just wrapped it all the way back here. Which they've also gotten rid of the hot leather version with these vents. And these are one of the reasons I really like these boots. <sighs> I don't live in a very cold area. I can't tell you this would be a great option if you live far north and get a lot of water and a lot of cold. But uh, where I'm at, we get some rain, but it, it does it barely drops below freezing where I live. Rarely. I mean, we'll get the occasional day where it's 20, maybe 10 degrees Fahrenheit. But for the most part, for the most of my hunting season at least, it's 70 to 50 degrees at the minimum. So these boots are very, very nice for this, uh, for that weather. In the summertime, uh, I still think these are a little bit hot. I've had boots before that uh, outperform these boots as far as heat dissipation in the summer. But as far as ruggedness, they would not outperform it. These vents are just very nice. They're basically an eyelet. I, I think they're just like an eyelet with a little metal screen over top of them. They work very well. It's also, if you do get water in the boot, it does help drain a little bit faster than uh, otherwise. I, I just don't really like the Gore-Tex lines because uh, if water does get in there, it's kind of, your feet aren't wet, but there's still water in the boot and it's kind of a pain in the butt because you're carrying around an extra you know, half pound of water in each boot I'd rather skip the Gore-Tex go with the hot leather where I live this is one of, honestly a perfect boot Especially if you pick them up for the price I did. $80, we're talking... <laughs> what is this? It says it's a logger boot. It's not a logger boot. They use the same boot, the same box from their logger as they do the wrap boot. It's interesting. But I digress. Anyways. For the price, $80, bucks, you are talking Walmart Wolverine prices. Uh, even full price on Coleman's, they were ninety dollars. They have a lot of, uh, they have a little, quite a few in stock. Even wide sizes. That's my uh, my main thing with these Danner boots is they do offer. They have narrow, regular, and wide, and extra wide too, I believe. The extra wides were sold out, but uh, I'm a. 12 4e extra wide and the regular wides fits very nicely so if you have wide feet and you're wondering do i need the extra wide or the wide it's going to be a little bit harder to find the extra wide anyways but i would just go with the wide because they're plenty wide the um oh, wow this it's crazy how nice this fits i don't think i've seen a pair unlaced in forever very nice suede leather. Just don't get this kind of quality for eighty dollars anywhere else. Uh, I mean, if you had to pay one hundred and twenty for these, it's honestly it's still a great price. Now on on Denner's website, you can buy the new Marine Expeditionary boot. All they've done is deleted these vents pulled this uh, toe counter all the way back to here and I'm pretty sure they're just all Gore-Tex line now but I could be wrong on that uh, but other than that it comes with the same sole the same marine heel counter and the same stamp I think they may have changed they have changed this part of the upper slightly 
But the difference is, is they'll charge you $400. 400 dollars if you go with the Marine Expeditionary Boot instead of the Rat Boot. So, right now, website I used, Coleman's. It's a mill surplus website. These are brand new, unissued boots. You saw they come with a box. $90 is the original price. If you sign up for their email list, you'll get a 20% off coupon you can use on anything. At that point, I mean, <laughs> you can buy a bunch of random stuff. They have gamma radiation detectors, all sorts of cool stuff on that website. Really, really cool website if you... uh you're in the military surplus. If you're not in the military surplus, but you're looking for a good pair of boots, give them a try. Even if you don't want to sign up for their email list, it's $90 for the pair, and then 7 8 bucks for shipping, tax, whatever. But you're really not going to beat this quality for the price. If you're really struggling, they have used versions of these that were returned or issued and not really worn out I guess I, haven't, I can't speak to the quality of the used ones or the condition but they're only like 25 bucks you can get a nice pair you can find these all the time at uh, every mill surplus physical store I've ever been to these were like 120 bucks to 150 on the high side so eighty dollars seems like a steal to me for after shipping and tax. It was eighty dollars and sixty-seven cents, I believe. Let's show you guys again. Eighty dollars, sixty-seven cents, and you get a made in America with American materials for the most part. I think I know that when they're contracted for the U.S. government, they have to have. X amount of, I'm not sure it's a hundred percent, I think it's more like 90 percent of the materials have to be made in the USA, which I can live with. It's much better than most boots nowadays where everything's made in Taiwan or China or freaking Vietnam. No offense to Vietnam or, you know, all offense to China, fuck China to be honest with you. <laughs> posting this on YouTube that's probably going to get me demonetized or something but uh, yeah fuck China these are the fuck China boots unless you're Chinese American then you can get these boots and you'll be like some real Koreans just be ready to go as long as you're fighting for us instead of fighting for them well it's been your boy Wes doing a boot review nothing special U.S. Marine Corps Desert Rat Hot Boots, $80 right now, brand new pair of boots, can't beat it, these are the hot, they do have the, I forgot to mention, they do have the Gore-Tex lined ones in stock, uh, that are I believe about 120 bucks. if you do want to go with the winter boot, with the waterproof, if that's your thing. 40 more dollars you could actually that's before the 20 percent discount so realistically probably about a hundred dollars you could after shipping you could have the Gore-Tex version if you're not looking for boots and you just like military surplus stuff just go give Coleman's a look you can uh, personally vouch for them I've well, had about 20 or 30 orders from them they get cool stuff all the time. Just, I like to check their website once every week or two, and maybe once a month, just see what they got in. But that's about it. Been 15 minutes of me talking about fucking boots. Hope you guys enjoyed.